Hello everybody, this is the Maldivo Mentor Mechanical Calculator. Um, I bought this off the internet about a year ago and since then I've had quite a few people emailing me um, asking them about certain functions. Um, I thought it would be easy if I just did a YouTube video going over them all. So, Maldivo Mentor, according to the back, made in West Germany, so that dates it between 1949 and 1990. I think it's the 60s, not too sure. Um, but it's a, it's a heavy bag anyway, and I, I believe that they, they use this model to, to help teach mathematics in, in, in classrooms. So, we'll go over the functions. Firstly, we have the input panel here. So, there's the results. We use these levers to input the numbers. We also have our clear lever, so I'll put some numbers in there. That clears it all. Attached to clear lever is the back transfer function. So if I press that, that sticks. I'll show you what that, that's used for later on. We have a button around the back if it clears that, if in case you didn't know it's completed an error. These levers here move this back and forth, like so. Um, this is the initial position where the red pointer is on the first column. We have 16 numbers here, so the biggest that we can complete is just under 10 to the 15. Um, we use this to ease the calculation, so I'll show you that later. We have a handle here, but we use that to perform the calculations clockwise and anti clockwise. Here we have uh, the button for makes this move over there. A bit quicker, save you a bit of time. This one clears the results uh, column. Over here we have a quotient or the counter. Um, these two are connected to this, so if I put in a number, there you go, 3000 down here. If I pull that, that would clear that. And that as well, there's one turn, saying I've completed one turn. If I press that there, And click fast. That's reset, but that hasn't. Um, I put another turn in, so we've got the one back up here. If I do that, I can use this to lock it. So it's reset the counter. That's remained. I can keep doing that till it breaks, or I unlock it. So reset everything. There we go. Um, addition. Let's have a look at addition. So, for example, I want to add 45. To 55, so I input 45, I draw one rotation, and that's inputted there 45. If I change that to 55, another two, and we've got 100. And if I want to keep adding 55, 155, 210, 265, 320, I can keep doing that until we're overrun. Uh, subtraction, so we input the first number, uh, so 200 minus 70, we add, put in the 200, one turn, here we go, 200, now 200 minus 70, so I need to input 70, to perform subtraction we give this handle away anti-clockwise turn, so 200 minus 70 is 130, likewise I can do it again, 60, if I do it one more time, 60 minus 70, doesn't show minus 10, it just goes a little nuts, and uh, over on the bu uh, buffer, I think you could probably hear the bow. I can undo this action. There we go. It turns back to the 60. So it's addition and subtraction, uh, subtraction sorted out. Multiplication. For example, if we want to do something like 27 times by 3. So we input 27. We usually input the, the larger number just to, just to save time. So 27. Now to times it by 3. I'm effectively doing 27 plus 27 plus 27. So I need 27 with three turns here. One, two, three. So 27 plus three is 81. So do a slightly larger number. So I'll just put in, I don't know what that is. It's pretty big. Times that by uh, 455. We I can either turn this 455 times I'd get pretty bored of that pretty quickly. So, 
we want this to say 455 so I can just put 5 in the units column so four, five. I can move one level forward 455 so 5 there and then another level 1, 2, 3, 4 so this number times by 455 is this number and in fact when you you know do a if I wanted to times by 2455 or 32,000 this number if I keep it all the way there we go so that's so this number multiplied by this number if you were to do this on Windows calculator or on, on Google's calculator the number you would would give back would be in, in standard form so it'd be 3.4 times by 10 to the to the 15 you'd have a few more numbers but it would not be as accurate as this this is far more accurate than Google or Windows calculator surely because we've got so many digits to play with so we set all that division um, put in a number let's put in let's put in 9 and if we want to do 9 divided by 3 we input the 9 we clear this put in 3 now we've got a 1 here now we're using this now so we're going to use this, this function here so I'll reset that so we've still got the 9 but that's a 0 um, again as with multiplication effective we're just adding over and over again with this we're just subtracting over and over again so we want this to get down to 0 assuming there isn't a remainder now 9 divided by 3 there isn't a remainder so 6 3 0 so 9 divided by 3 is 3 seems simple enough if we put in a big number so uh, okay so what is that one two three one two three four point nine million um it's a number we hope is divisible by three so we input that once we clear this and we put in because we're dividing it by three we want to get rid of this one there we go so instead of me having to subtract it all the way whatever, whatever that's about one and a half million times I can simply move that forward to the 4 no, so 4 minus the 3 is 1 now again if I was to subtract one more time the bar would go saying I've overrun my buffer so I'll go back next level keep subtracting until I get 0 or less than 3 0 again can't do it with a 1 15 oh too much there we go so our big number before usually you have, you have to write it down divided by 3 is this um, I haven't shown you this function yet this is the back transfer function this we can use for chain multiplication so if you want to do 2 times 3 times 4 um, indices so 5 to the 4 let's, let's try 5 to the 4 shall we so we put in 5 and we multiply it 5 times so we'll add it 5 times there we go. So 5 times by 5 is 25. Now we use this function here, the back transfer. That clears that. And this not only clears that, but brings it up to here. So it did say 25, that's all reset, and now it's up here. So we've got 5 squared. 5 to the 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 125. Form it one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 to the 4 gives us 625 this is used for more special functions um, and it simply reflects the, the counter on here so if, as soon as I start rotating this clockwise that should move forwards there we go likewise if I subtract reset is if I subtract there we go <laughs> reflects how uh, the opposite di whether you that's counted in the same direction as this or the opposite it's used more for more um, 
functions like uh, chain division, division with with uh, decimal points. But we don't need to go into that at the moment. Um, finally, I haven't mentioned these. These are just to help you out with your decimal points. So if you were times in 0 0.5 by what 0 0.5, you'd have it here. Now the rule is there's one decimal point times by another decimal point is two decimal points. So I'm going to move that here. So 0 0.5 times by 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. And that's all at the moment. If you have any questions about the Maldiva Mentor, just leave it as a comment. I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks for watching.